Okay, guys. So today what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the cost of a turkey if you uh, happen to pick one up for your family and what it might cost if you ever decided to donate to a local food uh, bank. So you're going to need paper and you're going to need pencil for this activity. Make sure you grab that now if you don't already have it. So like I said, the first thing that you need to pick up for your family is a turkey. Now you've decided that you're going to get a 25 pound turkey and the turkeys are on sale for 98 cents per pound. Now notice there's that key clue word per, meaning that you would multiply or divide. Because we know that the price is gonna not go lower than 98 cents, it's gonna go much farther up, that's our signal that we need to multiply here. So go ahead and do that now, take 25 times 98 cents, and let's see what you guys get. Okay. Let's go ahead and walk through the problem now using the traditional algorithm. So 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4. Then 9 times 5 is 45, plus 4 makes 49, carry the 4. Then we're going to do 0 times 5, which is 0, plus 4 makes 4. Now it's time to scribble out, 0 out, and then we're going to bring down that 0. Now it's time to multiply diagonally. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 makes 19, carry the 1. And then 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 makes 1. Now it's time for us to do our addition. So we'd have 0, 9 plus 6 is 15, carry the 1. Then over here we would end up with 14, carry the 1. And then we'd have a 2. So now, if we look at this, that's 2,450. But that doesn't sound right, does it? We have to do something with those decimals, don't we? So I'm going to go 1, 2, and then I'm going to go 1, 2. Ah, uh, that seems much more reasonable, doesn't it? $24.50 is what you should have gotten for your answer. If you got that, way to go. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our next problem now. So if we look at this next one, the food bank that's nearby is asking for donations. Your family has, decide, has decided to donate 12 of each item, each, there's that clue word, right? Multiply each item on their list. The first item is a pack of marshmallows. Each bag, again, each is a dollar and 25 cents. How much is the total cost for 12 bags of marshmallows? So again, there's that word each, we know they're going to increase because we're buying one bag and each bag is $1.25 and we need 12 of them. So that means we multiply again. So go ahead and do your multiplication now. Let's see what you guys get when you take $1.25 times 12. Okay, let's go ahead and go through that work together now. So again, we're going to use the standard algorithm. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 makes 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Now we scribble out, 0 out, bring down that 0. Now we're ready to go diagonal, right? 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. So we're going to do our addition. And notice that when we do that, we end up with 1,500. No, that's not right. Okay, so we got to move that decimal, don't we? So one, two, and then we go one, two, okay? So if you got an answer of $15, you are absolutely correct with what you came up with. Okay, let's go to the next item that the food bank is going to want to get. And with marshmallows, obviously you got to have sweet potatoes, right? So each can of sweet potatoes is $2.28. How much will it cost if you purchase 12 cans of sweet potatoes? Again, there's that key clue word. I want you to really pay attention to that, guys. It's each. So go ahead and take $2.28 times 12. Okay, so let's see what you guys ended up getting here. So. If we go ahead and we start looking at this, we, uh, we're going to do the box method this time. So we're going to go ahead and make our box that we have. Now I'm going to break this up. I'm going to ignore that decimal, act like it's not even there. So that'd be 200, that would be 20, and this would be 8. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on the other side and I'm going to break up the 12 into 12 and 2. Now it's time for me to start multiplying, right? 1 times 2 is 2, 3 zeros. 1 times 2 is 2 again, 2 zeros this time. And then 1 times 8 is 8, 1 zero. Okay, now I'm ready to do the bottom section. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 zeros. 2 times 2 is 4 again, 1 zero. And then 2 times 8 is 16, right? Okay, now it's time for me to make sure that I line up all my numbers very carefully. If I don't do that properly, it's going to throw off my whole answer. So whenever I do something like this, it's super important that everything is lined up. Because uh, that's one of the easiest ways for people to make mistakes is they just don't line everything up. And uh, I'd hate for you guys to miss easy points. I know I don't like it when that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our addition now. So I would get a 6 here. Then I'd have 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 1 is going to make 13. Carry the 1. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 makes 7. And then, of course, we just bring down that 2, right? But uh, I'm not done, am I? Yeah, that doesn't sound right of 2,736. Because I've got the decimal here, I have to move it. So I'm going to go 1, 2, and then I'm going to come right down here, and I'm going to go 1, 2. Okay? And then notice that my answer is $27.36. So if you ended up getting that same answer, fantastic job. Okay. Let's go on to our next item now. Now the next item is soup. Lots of people like to use cream of mushroom soup for different uh, things that they bake on Thanksgiving and the food bank would love for us to have cans of soup for them. Now notice each can of soup is 98 cents. There's that key clue word of each again. How much will it cost to purchase 12 cans? So go ahead and take 98 cents times 12. Oops. Oh, gosh. I already gave you a hint as to what the next one's going to be. Okay, so <laughs> now if you went ahead and tried that here, I'm going to do the box method again just so we keep in practice with that. Now, again, I'm going to start by ignoring those decimals, right? I'm, not, I'm just going to imagine they're not even there. So if that's the case, this would just be 90 and this would be 8. And then over here, this would be 10 and this would be 2 again. And then I'm ready to start multiplying. 1 times 9 is 9, two zeros. 1 times 8 is 8, one zero. Then 9 times 2 is 18, one zero. And then 2 times 8 is 16. Now, once I've done that, it's time for me to go ahead and line up these numbers, right? Okay, so I'm going to take 900. I'm going to take 180. I'm going to take 80, and then I'm going to take 16, and then I'm going to add those numbers together, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do my addition now, so I'd get a 6. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 1 makes 17, carry the 1, and then 1 plus 9 plus 1 would be 11. Now, I have to come back here, don't I? I got to make an adjustment because of the decimal now. This is where I remember it. 1, oops. 1, oh no, and then 2, and then I come here and I go 1, 2, put in my decimal. And so if you got an answer of $11.76, you were correct. Okay, let's go to the next one, which you already got a print uh, or a preview of, and that's going to be if you get stuffing. Everybody loves stuffing. Well, most people anyways, but uh, at least I've from what I've seen, I like stuffing. But if you're getting stuffing for this food pantry, notice the price here. Each box of stuffing is $2.97. How much will it cost to purchase 12 boxes of the stuffing? Woo! Okay, so this is definitely going to be a pricier item, isn't it? Go ahead and try that now, guys. $2.97 times 12. Okay, so we're going to do the standard algorithm this time. Uh, that way we continue that practice. So to start, I'm going to do 7 times 2, which is 14. Carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 makes 19. Carry the 1. 
2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 makes 5. Now it's time to scribble out. 0 out, and then we're going to bring down that 0, right? Now we can multiply diagonally. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 2 is 2. Now we're ready to do our addition. So notice when we do that, you should get something that looks very similar to what I have here. And I got uh, 3,564. But of course, I have to adjust it because of the decimal. I have to remember it now. So I go 1, 2, and then I go 1, 2. And then I put in my answer. So if you got $35.64, way to go. All right. Now, we're going to move on to our last donation item, and this time it's going to be pumpkin pie. Again, it is not Thanksgiving to me without some pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Okay, especially with some Cool Whip on top, right? Now, notice each can, there's that clue word again, guys, each, multiplication sign, each can of pumpkin pie is $2.08. How much will it cost to purchase 12 cans for the food bank? So again, we're trying to think, okay, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make sure we do uh, $2.08 times 12. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, so I'm going to do the box method here uh, for this one. Remember, I'm going to completely ignore, if you were at home, I'd want you to say ignore, even though I'm saying it to you now like that. Ignore, so I'm going to act like I can hear you. And then we're going to go ahead and break this number up because that would be 208 then. Now, you might be thinking, do I still just put zeros down? I sure want you to because that's the best way to make sure that you are doing this correctly. Just follow the same, those same steps. Now I'm going to break up the 12. And now it's time for me to start my multiplication. So 1 times 2 is 2. And then I have 3 zeros. 1 times 0 is 0, or 10 even is just 0, so I'm just going to put a big fat 0. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1, 0. Now, down here, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 zeros. 2 times 0 is just 0 again, and then 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, so notice I'm only going to have four numbers that I'm going to need to add here. So I'm going to have the 2,000 the 400, the 80, and then the 16. Now I'm ready to do my addition. So notice that when I do that, I get 2,496, but yep, you know it. We can't leave it like that. We gotta remember that decimal. So we go one, two, and then we're gonna go one, two. So if you got an answer, of $24.96, you are absolutely correct. Way to go. Now, we've got one last thing now, and that, well, it's the checkout. We have to make sure that we actually check out of the grocery store, right? So we're gonna have to go ahead and add up our total. So if you remember, the turkey was $24.50, the marshmallows were $15 even, the sweet potatoes were $27.36. The cans of soup were $11.76, or $11.76. The stuffing was $35.64, and the cans of pumpkin pie were $24.96. Now, this is an addition problem now. The one thing, though, that I want you to focus on, there are multiple strategies that you could use here. So obviously you could just do this where you line up all the decimals. Everyone at home say line them up. Yep, that's right. I'm expecting you to say it. Good, good, good. So you'd line up the decimals. Now, once you actually line up those decimals, you would go ahead and add. However, another way that I've seen students do it in the past is where they just take two numbers at a time and then they add those numbers up on the side. Oh, my five looks terrible there. Okay. The reason I like this way the best for me, uh, it's less adding. I feel that it doesn't get as confusing when I do it this way. And then what I would do is I would just cross off those numbers as I would go. That's just me. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and try that now. 
Tell me what you end up getting when you give it a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through it. Um, so I'm just going to do the traditional way this time, even though you might have done the other way. So 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 4 is going to make uh, 16, plus another 6 is going to be 22. So I'm going to put my 2 up here now. Then 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 2 makes 10. Then I'd have plus 7 plus 6, uh, that'd be 23. And then 23 plus the 9, okay, is going to end up being 31, uh, I believe. Yeah, let me, let me think about that. No, yeah, I was wrong. Okay, this, this is why I suggested the other way. Okay, so that would be 32. <laughs> Carry the 3. All right, so now I'm going to do 3 plus 4 is 7. Plus 5 makes 12. Plus 7 makes 19. Plus 1 makes 20. Then I'm going to have 29 when I get to the last two digits. Okay, now I'm ready for the final part. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 makes 5, plus 2 is 7, plus another one 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 2 is 13. And then when you're adding, you actually just put the decimal right at the bottom. So I got an answer of $139.22. If you got that, fantastic job.